Okay, our next dish is uh, fillet of beef. Quite an extravagant dish, but also beautiful as well. On roasted root, uh, root vegetables, and then we're going to do a lovely potato cake. Uh, so we start with, with our potato cake, uh, which you need leftover mashed potatoes, or else cook your mashed potatoes in the morning. Let them go cold, just like so. Okay, we're going to get some spring onions. And you just want to slice those down. Just through a rocking motion like so. You can go slower if you wish. I'm just doing it a long time, so I can do it a little bit faster. Okay, into your mashed potato, we're going to put an egg yolk in there. The egg yolk just binds it, holds it together for you. Some black pepper. And some salt. Okay, if you get a little bit of a plate then, put a little bit of flour on top of your plate. You just want to mix that two together. Just until the egg actually just binds into the mashed potato. Basically, you just want to get a portion size, and you just want to put it into the shape of a, like a burger. Now again, on the website, we're going to have a planner for you of how you're going to plan your, your dinner party. And what it'll show is that you can have these done earlier in the day as well. I'm just going to wash my hands. Okay, in your pan then, a little bit of olive oil. Pop that in. It's going to take about three to four minutes each side until it's nice and golden brown. In a, in a separate pan, we're going to put a little bit of olive oil inside. And what I've done is I've just roughly cut some carrots and some parsnips peeled and just cut roughly. I've put them into boiling water with some salt for about seven minutes until they're nice and tender inside, okay? Then we're gonna put them into the pan with a little bit of olive oil. Okay, this is uh, what I call pan roasting. So basically you want, to, when I say pan roasting, you want to caramelize the outside of it so you get this nice golden brown color. Alternatively, you can start them in a pan, pop them into the oven at 180 degrees for about 12 minutes until they get nice and golden brown on the outside. Again, a little bit of salt and pepper on top, like so. Then we get to the fillet of beef, which is just beautiful. Now again, I'm not giving them a very big portion, but I think it's, uh, you know, dinner parties is all about tasting the food. Get the best quality ingredients you can, you can afford. And just kind of give them a lovely taste with some great flavors. Just turn this guy over. Look at that, it's getting a lovely golden brown. Again, now, when you're cooking a steak, it's very, very important that you get your pan as hot as you possibly can. So you get that lovely crust on the outside. When you get the crust on the outside, you hear that sizzle? That's exactly what you want to hear. When you get the crust on the outside of your fillet of beef, what it does is it actually holds all the juices inside your beef. We're just going to keep it lovely and tender and flavoursome. Okay, depending on how you like to cook your meat cooked, uh, if you want to cook it rare, rare takes about two minutes to cook, medium about four minutes, and then well done, you know, up to about ten minutes if you want to go there. Go back to your root vegetables now, we're going to put a little bit of honey in, inside there, which gives you that lovely sweetness. You can see the way that's getting lovely and caramelized on the outside there now. They're just about done. There now. Bit of steak. You can see you're getting that. Nicely charred on the outside. Get that out of the way. Now, what I've made here is I've made a little bit of shallot and port wine sauce, okay? It's, it's quite straightforward to do, is uh, if you get uh, port and white wine, put it into a pot, reduce down by half, add in some beef stock that you can actually buy in the supermarket, put in uh, some chopped shallots through it, bring it up to the boil, and let it reduce down, and you get that lovely glazed 
look and really rich flavour. Now, if you don't want to do that, you can always put just a lovely knob of garlic butter on top of this dish. It works perfect. So, onto your plate then. You're going to put your potato cake. Lovely root vegetables on top, like so. This always brings me back to childhood memories, where mum used to always do roasted uh, parsnips and carrots in the oven. I just love the flavours of them. So again, you just want to seal the outside of your steak. Now you can always use a tong, tongs like so. Okay, and I like my steak really rare, so that's the way I'm going to cook it. Sit that on top like so. And then with your sauce, okay, when you sauce any, any, any of your dishes, just put a little bit of sauce over top, okay, and then just kind of work around the plate like so. Okay, and you kind of get a nice design happening. Great tip then is because the sauce is so good, put a little bit in a jug, put it on the table so if someone wants some more, do that, just a little bit of mixed herbs over top. There you have a fantastic fillet of beef dish, potato cake, roasted root vegetables, and a port wine jus.